I'm holding a pre-production sample of the Canon EOS M, the company's first compact system camera. Let's have a look at some of its features. This switch on the top allows you to switch between scene intelligent auto mode, the camera mode, where you can select the option that you want to shoot in, and video mode. To start a video, you just press this uh, dedicated button here. In camera mode, we just tap this option and then we can scroll between the various exposure modes. As you can see, there's manual, aperture priority, shutter priority and program. So there's plenty of control for advanced users, even though this camera is aimed at uh, more novice photographers. Just press the Q button to bring up the quick menu. Now select all the different options using the touch screen. It's the same touch screen as on the 650D, but obviously it's fixed. You can use a combination of touch screen control or button control, but there are fewer buttons, 35% fewer buttons than a comparable SLR. So if I touch this option here, I'm now enabled touch shutter and I can just touch anywhere on the screen, the camera will focus to take a shot. This is the kit lens, the 18 to 55 with the new mount. And you can see inside is an APS-C size sensor. It's the same 18 million pixel sensor with the hybrid autofocusing as the 650D. So this is new 22mm EFM mount pancake lens. Because it's got the hybrid uh, AF system, the camera can autofocus during video, just like the 650D. There's no flash built in, but uh, this 90EX speedlight comes in the box. Canon's also introduced a new adapter so you can mount your EF and your EFS lenses on the new camera. So here we've got an EFS lens. There we go. On the bottom of the adapter is a tripod mount so you can support the lens when it's too heavy for the camera. The Canon can shoot at 4.3 frames per second in continuous shooting mode. and sensitivity can be set in the range of 100 to 12,800 or expanded to 25,600.